All right, guys, stat 1800, more on uh, chi-square. Now, I think, uh, as, as I kind of reflect on the previous video, if there, if there maybe is a confusion, uh, uh, a reasonable source of confusion, uh, what's the difference between a chi-square test for equal proportions and a chi-square test for independence? Well, I want to demonstrate that to see if I can uh, see if I can clear that up. So if I were running a uh, chi-square test of equal proportions, uh, and I'm and I'm given this uh, this data set. And let me tell you what this is. This is uh, uh, a questionnaire. Would you return to the um, uh, to the hotel? We have hotel one and hotel two, and the the people respond to either they would or they would not. So uh, I want to compare in H sub O the proportion uh, that uh, would return to hotel one with the proportion that would return to hotel two. In the alternative hypothesis, uh, of course, would be this, and I'm going to just test at point uh, uh, zero five. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to look at the uh, p hat for hotel one, and uh, for hotel one, 163 out of what uh, 225 said so they would return. Uh, hold on, guys. need to get my calculator. So uh, 163 out of 225 um, gives me 72.4%. And the uh, sample proportion for Hotel 2 uh, looks like it's 154 out of was a 262 so 154 divided by 262 is 58.8 percent now for this sample alone uh, we can conclude that the proportion that would uh, return to hotel one uh, is higher than uh, for hotel two but we want to see if there's statistical significance so uh, so guys, what we would do here is we would uh, calculate our chi-square uh, statistic, and we would calculate our p-value. So guys, instead of going through um, using our, uh, our, our, our frequencies that are provided in the, in the table, uh, we're going to use this, um, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to use uh, StatCrunch to work this problem. All right, guys, in StackCrunch, what we want to do is we want to set up our data set. So uh, I'm going to um, uh, do the following. Uh, I'm going to uh, just type in uh, return, and I'm going to do hotel one and hotel two. So uh, at the end of the day, what I am doing is replicating uh, the, um, the, the chart. So uh, we have yes and we have no. And the numbers were 163. Uh, 154, uh, 64, and 108. So, guys, you can see that we've just uh, that all I've done is just replicate the uh, the table that we were given. So, uh, guys, from here we're gonna go to a familiar spot, and that is two tables. We're gonna go to contingency. But, guys, now instead of having our data like we did in the um, uh, the political party and beliefs about abortion problem, we have a summary and not the data. So uh, select columns. So uh, my columns are going to be Hotel 1 and Hotel 2. And my row uh, variable is return. Now, I want to get my expected cell count. Expected cell count is actually used to calculate the chi-square uh, statistic, but um, uh, we're going to use... Uh, uh, stack crunch to do that, but uh, I want the expected cell count uh, anyway. It's something else that uh, this contribution to chi square. There are no questions that you'll have on my stat lab, but uh, that, that that pertain to that. But it's something I want to point out to you. I don't think it's uh, uh, necessarily important that the only thing I teach you is what you encounter on my stat lab. All right, uh, so let's go compute, and what we can see uh, from the output. 
is that uh, our chi-square test statistic is uh, 9.053. So I'm going to write that down. So 9.053. And our p-value is 0 0.0026. All right, now we have our expected cell counts, and uh, we can just eyeball and see, um, you know, if we look at the difference, the difference between the observed and expected there is about 16. The difference in observed and expected here is about uh, 16. The difference between observed and expected here is about 13, and here it's about uh, 16. So the, uh, uh, the top two and the bottom right cells seem to contribute most uh, to the chi-square statistic because that's where the biggest differences lie between the observed and the expected. So gang, if I go back to uh, my uh, my values that I gave, uh, we have statistical significance, so we can, uh, uh, our p-value is less than our alpha, so we would reject the null hypothesis. Now typically you don't get this dramatic and uh, draw a line through it, but uh, what we conclude, conclude is that the uh, uh, proportions are not equal. All right, so uh, there is uh, sufficient evidence to conclude that the percentage of people who would <clears throat> return to uh, Hotel One is higher, well, different uh, than the percentage that would return uh, to Hotel Two. At this line alone, we couldn't make that determination we have to calculate our test statistic and our p-value to generalize. Now, what we could say of, of the uh, 200, or what, the 487 who were sampled, uh, clearly of the 487, a higher percentage said they would return to uh, Hotel 1 than Hotel 2. But to generalize to our larger population, we have to use a test statistic uh, and a p-value. All right? Now, how does that uh, change for number two if we would just want to see if the two are related? Well, uh, really the only thing that changes is the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis would be that uh, uh, return and hotel are independent And the H sub A would be the return in a hotel are dependent or not uh, independent. Now, so what happens? Difference. <laughs> Nothing. These same numbers are calculated right here. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is to get the chi-square statistic of 9.053. Now, guys, this, this, is, this is important. Uh, we have to go to stat table contingency with summary. And we have to choose our two columns. And we have to choose our, uh, our, our row because, guys, our rows are under return. And... Uh, we uh, have to choose chi-square to get our chi-square statistic. I like to do both of these in a two-by-two two because we clearly have a two-by-two two table here because you want to use the p-value from Fisher's exact test. Now, let me explain that, okay? You see that the p-values are different. I don't know. I, I know the right way to do it, but I don't know if this author uh, is doing it the right way uh, as, as we learned um, in the uh, Levine's test uh, in the previous uh, section. So try both of these and see which p-value works. This is the one that should be reported for a 2x2. Two two. If we have a 2x3, two 2x4, by 2x5, two by by anything other than a 2x2, two two, we report the chi-square, uh, the p-value for the chi-square statistic. So this p-value should give you the correct answer on my stat lab. Now, will it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So guys, uh, try, try both of those. And really, you're just kind of playing a game because, uh, again, the correct one to, uh, to report in literature would be Fisher's uh, because it uh, has, a, has a correction built in that uh, the chi-square statistic 
tends to uh, undervalue the p-value or, or underestimate the p-value um, uh, based uh, uh, when, when there's a two by two. Now, when you get in a two by three and anything else, uh, it, it's all good. All right, gang, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go on to the next problem. And, uh, but let's say instead of two hotels, we have three hotels. How would this change? Well, if we're wanting to compare the proportions being consistent with the numbering before the proportion, we would want uh, the proportion for hotel one would be equal to the proportion for hotel two would be equal to the proportion for hotel three. Uh, the alternative hypothesis would be uh, at least one pair is different. And I'm going to test it, uh, the typical uh, alpha equal 0 0.05. Now, guys, I would probably uh, want to come in and uh, look at the... Um, The, the proportion. So uh, it looks like the first, uh, there was 128 uh, out of uh, 216. So 59.3%. For Hotel 2, there was 199 out of uh, 232. So that's 85.8%. And for Hotel 3, there would be 186 um, out of, uh, what, 252, so 73.8%. Now, will these differences be statistically significant? Uh, specifically, will the low and the high uh, be uh, significant? And it appears to me that they would be, so I'm kind of expecting a uh, statistically significant result. So uh, what I would do um, in uh, my stat lab is I would uh, change the numbers. First of all, I would come in here and, and add a hotel three. So uh, 128, 199, 186, 88, 33, and 66. All right. But guys, the game's the same. Uh, we, uh, we go to tables, we go to contingency, we go with summary. And, but this time we choose uh, all three hotels, but we still have one row. So uh, guys, uh, I would uh, again do the expected cell count. And since we have a two by three, this Fisher's exact test uh, is irrelevant, so we don't select it. So, uh, gang, our chi-square statistic is uh, 40.23. Uh, I'm going to write that down over here. So 40.2, uh, oh, yeah, let's just call it 228. And our p-value uh, uh, is extremely low. So we do conclu conclude that there's a difference in... Um, in uh, uh, the uh, in at least uh, one pair of proportions. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to get into which pair of proportions uh, it actually is, I could go in and uh, and just uh, and look at the pairs. So I could do a contingency with summary and I could, uh, you know, just compare one and two. But uh, guys, in this case, I'd want to do the uh, do both of them. I want to look at the two by two. So uh, uh, one and two are significant, uh, but I kind of, uh, I, I don't know, but I kind of doubt that two and three are, but I can, I can com uh, calculate it and see. Uh, yeah, it actually is. So uh, I'm going to bet that uh, that all three uh, are different. But anyway, I, there there are no uh, my math lab assignment questions that require you to go in and and do the pairwise tests. So. Uh,
but uh, it is there. All right, gang. Uh, one more thing. How would it uh, how would it be different if I was doing a test of independence? Uh, really, it's just the null hypothesis. Uh, again, hotel and return rate are independent. Uh, the alternative hypothesis is hotel and uh, and return rate are dependent. Well, guys, uh, that uh, that actually does it for this problem. So, uh, good deal. We like short videos, right? So, take care.